Is Emirates Economy Class worth the hype? Or is it just like its competitors? Stick around for this video as we do an in-depth review of Emirates Economy Class. In today's travel day, we have two Emirates flights on two different planes, giving us what we feel is an honest opinion of the Emirates Economy Class experience. It's another travel day. Long one. Long one. Me and Meg were just talking about how we feel a little bit rusty because it's been like three months since we've done a huge travel day that we're about to, like we're about to conquer right now. Follow along as we uh, make our way to Italy. Italy. So first flight delayed, classic. It only just makes us a little bit nervous because our timeline on our all of our connecting flights is fairly tight. We're hoping that if we're first in line, the plane will leave faster. He's mocking me. I'm just nervous. Meg wanted to be first in line because, you know, we're stressed. Made it to Jakarta. Kind of have to hustle a little bit because our flight, our next flight leaves in not too long from now. So, time the to go. The race is on. The race is on. Here we go. All right, let's go. Hands by me. Okay, so we made it to our gate. A little bit closer than I would probably like. May have got some snacks, but we are super excited about this flight particularly because we are flying Emirates. And in my head, I, when I think Emirates, I think of luxury. Now, most of the time it's because on YouTube I see these videos of people in first class. That is not going to be us. But, but, I think this will be kind of fun to give you maybe a more realistic pers perspective of what it's actually like to fly Emirates because we are flying economy, the cheapest, lowest level on Emirates. So I'll be very curious to see how it compares to the likes of like Singapore Air. Stretch out. So this first Emirates flight, I said first because we actually have two. This first one is going from Jakarta to Dubai. So it's gonna be about eight hours from Jakarta to Dubai on Emirates. Those are not ours. Okay, we made it to our seats. Meg's gonna give us a little review here. I love when they give us stuff, but when I get in the seat, it's like fumble too. We've got a pillow, we've got a blanket, and we've got headphones that go over your ears. I haven't haven't had those before, so that's fun. Overall seat, I feel like it's a little bit smaller than when we were on Singapore. Hello. But got some charging ports, some music. It looks like I'm excited. Eight hours. Yeah, we also have the two middle seats, but I guess that's what you get for paying literally the bare minimum for an Emirates flight. But still very nice. They have this like remote controller thing it comes out nice big screen legroom's good not too bad live reveal for dinner this looks like some sort of i mean it looks kind of like tuna like tuna fish pasta salad we have chicken with potatoes a little dinner bun Kit Kat, I think. I don't know what this is. This also looks like a dessert with Kit Kat on it. Mystery dessert. I'm excited. Always am. Okay. 
Okay, so last night we made it to Dubai after our eight hour flight and we didn't do anything but we found these kind of reclined chairs and slept for, kind of slept for a couple hours. I think my whoop calculated two and a half, which I think is a bold faced lie, but uh, we'll roll with it. Anyway, Meg, what did you think of your first Emirates flight? Uh, it didn't help that we were in the middle two of a four person row that's always uncomfortable, but I'm gonna give the win to Singapore Airlines. I yeah. think our long Singapore Airlines flight was better. Yeah, I think it's it's our, our opinions a little bit skewed because our seats were in not great orientation obviously, but I will agree with Meg. I think the food was a little bit better on Singapore Airlines. I agree. Now, the seats were just fine. Everything was super clean. They had these little like stars on the ceiling, which yeah, was a nice fun. which was a nice little touch and it's definitely like fancy and it feels luxury, but I would say the food on Singapore Airlines was actually a little bit better. So when you're comparing economy classes, um, I would maybe even give the edge to Singapore Airlines. Now we do have one more Emirates flight from Dubai to Italy, which is another six hour flight. So we're gonna get, give it another chance to see if it can maybe bump up the ranking a little bit. I'll maybe show you the bathrooms on the next flight. Um, so that way you can get a little bit better perception of what economy is like in Emirates. Because like I was saying earlier, I feel like most of the time when people review like Emirates, it's like first class or economy plus. And it's very rare that people just uh, view, uh, review basic economy, which is what most people can actually afford, including ourselves. So, And we walked past those lay down seats. Whew. Yeah, that like, looks nice. Like even like I think they call it either business class or economy yeah. plus. Even those seats are like, wow, like <laughs> those are nice. In this next flight, we are seventy J and H, which makes me think we're not in the middle, because that's a high number. I'm thinking we're like on a side. Yeah, so maybe if we get a better back. seat orientation in this next flight, we'll have a little bit better uh, ranking. But for now, we have a couple hours until we get on our flight to Italy. We are on flight two, and virtually the same as far as the seats go, but this is a double-decker plane. I've never been on a double-decker plane. Meg, have you? I don't think so. Double-decker, two decks. Also, we're already on the three-seat side, which is better. Yeah, our seat orientation is already way better on this flight. I have the aisle, Meg has the middle but we don't have to inconvenience too many people to get to the bathroom or anything like that. So already in a better seat position. Like the seat and everything is bigger. I think the screen's bigger. I think all of it's a little bit more spacious. Yeah, so contrary to what I just said, I think this actually is a little bit bigger seat. We feel way less cramped. Yeah, really nice. Really nice. Already the ranking is bumping up. Yeah. How fun is that? They do uh, they do Polaroid shots on the plane. That is so cute. That's actually like a good picture. Nice touch, Emirates. So fun. <laughs> so <cute. laughs> I'll do a sandwich with egg and cheese. That's for you. So first little snack here, we have an egg and cheese sandwich with sparkling water. Simple. Figured I would give you a little bathroom tour here on Emirates economy class. Pretty standard. Um, we got some hand lotion, that's a plus. Smells nice. Nice full length mirror behind me. Pretty clean. Pretty normal bathroom. <laughs> Nothing too out of the ordinary. All right, so for our official lunch, we have some beef with rice, peas, and some peppers. 
We got we got quite a bit of stuff here. We have a roll. We have a granola bar. We have some sort of cracker. Uh, some cheese, piece of chocolate, some like pasta salad, some like chocolate mousse, and yeah, a good a good assortment of stuff here. Looks pretty good. Rating on that meal better than the main meal that we had on our last Emirates flight, and nice job Emirates on the quantity of food. They do a really good job there, but I'm still gonna give the edge to Singapore on the taste and quality. But overall, still a very good meal and a much bigger upgrade from the last meal that we had. Okay, so I made my way to the back of the plane. I'm not allowed to go up there, but how sweet is that? There's also like four bathrooms back here. Let me show you. All right, and that is a wrap on today's video. We made it to Italy. We are in our Airbnb right now eating some pizza. Not sure if you can get more Italian than that. Thanks for following along with our journey through Emirates and economy class. It was kind of fun to see, maybe not the top end seats that Emirates offers, but more something that is going to uh, be probably realistic for most people. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and we will see you in the next video.